Welcome to the Life Poetic with Thomas Kiley, your weekly knowledge drop of wordcraft and invocation. This week we're looking at Wild Geese by Mary Oliver. You do not have to be good. You do not have to walk on your knees for a hundred miles through the desert repenting. You only have to let the soft animal of your body love what it loves. Tell me about your despair, yours, and I will tell you mine. Meanwhile the world goes on. Meanwhile the sun and the clear pebbles of the rain are moving across the landscape, over the prairies and the deep trees, the mountains and the rivers. Meanwhile the wild geese high in the clean blue air are heading home again. Whoever you are, no matter how lonely, the world offers itself to your imagination, calls to you like the wild geese, harsh and exciting, over and over announcing your place in the family of things. I first found this poem, Wild Geese, on my friend Beth's fridge, um, and I really love it. And there's this one line that jumped out at me, that you only have to let the soft animal of your body love what it loves. And I really feel that my sense of spirit is, is really moving towards this idea. And I think in the West we often take the idea of spirituality as being this kind of process of disembodiment, that we kind of rise above the body and into spirit, or kind of escape the body, escape the mundane and into the rarefied air of spirit. And I just don't feel that that is actually how it works. And the truth is this, to come back to the soft animal of your body, to love the experience, the physical experiencing experience that you're having in the here and now, and then to allow that animal of your body to feel whatever it feels, and in this case, love whatever it loves. Um, and I find it really interesting that she pairs this to love whatever it loves, with give me your despair, like allow your animal to feel its grief. You have yours and I have mine and the human experience is full of grief. Allow it, let your animal body experience that grief and express that grief if that's what it needs to do. Um, and then I love the way that she, this other beautiful idea of the wild geese calling, harsh and exciting, like the world calls to your imagination like wild geese, that kind of abrupt, horrible honking that geese have, that the world is calling to you in that way, this really sharp, juttering, hey, 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 kind of um, calling to your spirit. And the way she pairs these, like, this great expansive view that she creates of the rain falling over the prairies and the trees, that you're sort of sitting somewhere elevated and watching the great expanse of nature before you, um, that she sort of opens up this wide vista and then says that the, the geese are called, like existence is calling you back into the family of things. So even as wide as this vista is, there is still somewhere for you to find a sense of belonging, to find a place that you can call home. And that through the great stretch of the earth, we are all united in a, in a family of things. And that your body is united in that. And so whatever that your, your body is feeling, whether it's grief or whether it's love or whatever it loves, um, through that experience, through that embodied emotional and physical experience, you can find a sense of belonging, you can find your place in the great family of things. You do not have to be good. You do not have to walk on your knees for a hundred miles through the desert repenting. You only have to let the soft animal of your body love what it loves. Tell me about your despair, yours, and I will tell you mine. Meanwhile the world goes on, meanwhile the sun and the clear pebbles of the rain are moving across the landscapes, over the prairies and the deep trees, the mountains and the rivers. Meanwhile the wild geese, high in the clean blue air, are heading home again. Whoever you are, no matter how lonely, the world offers itself to your imagination, calls to you like the wild geese, harsh and exciting over and over announcing your place in the family of things. This has been the Life Poetic with Thomas Cartley. See you next week.